All right, hi folks. Uh, Merry Christmas to you today on this uh, Christmas Eve of uh, 2011. Uh, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and a, a joyous holiday uh, in Christ. Uh, may his blessings be upon you uh, this beautiful season. Today we got a little bodybuilding for you. We're going to do a Christmas Eve uh, giant set. And I'm going to try and mix it up a little bit and uh, hopefully throw a few uh, surprises in there to uh, keep it interesting and uh, hopefully not wear you out too much but get you a little Christmas Eve pump uh, to uh, pay the price, so to speak, your uh, uh, penance of uh, all the good foods that you eat. and. Uh, so here we go. We're going to start out with a little, just a little tidbit of the Christmas story. Uh, one of our family traditions is to, uh, on Christmas Eve, uh, open presents. Uh, and prior to that, we read uh, one of the uh, renditions in the Bible of the Christmas story, uh, either out of Luke uh, or Matthew in the first uh, two, three chapters. But today we're just going to crack a little uh, bit into the uh, Christmas story in Matthew. And just to kind of get your uh, appetite uh, whetted for a little Christmas uh, activity. And perhaps you'll want to read the Christmas story in its entirety on your own, in your own Bible. And uh, So anyway, uh, here we go. Um, we're going to start out in uh, Matthew. Uh, chapter 1 today and uh, picking up in uh, verse 18. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise when as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph her husband being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, he was a good man, was minded to put her away privately. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost." And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now all this was done, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Then Joseph, being raised from sleep, did as the angel of the Lord had bidden him, and took unto him his wife, and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. There is only one uh, child in all of history and creation that is the pinnacle of creation itself, and that is Jesus Christ. Um, he was born of a virgin mother, contrary to several of the Christmas movies um, that I have seen. Um, they're kind of shameful. Like a lot of the Hollywood type uh, Bible stories, there's always just a little bit of a false teaching in there, or a lie, or something that's twisted, uh, where uh, Joseph says to Mary, come on, let's conceive our Messiah. Well, that's not the way it happened. Uh, uh, what was uh, put inside Mary's womb was of the Holy Spirit. That didn't mean we were to worship Mary. It means simply she was a good woman. Let's not take that away from her. She was a good woman. Uh, uh, Gabriel said, Hail Mary, Hail Favored One. Um, if you heard the expression in football, he threw a Hail Mary. Well, that's where they just kick back and chuck it down the field and hope somebody catches it because there's somewhat of a truth to it. She was a good woman. Uh, it doesn't mean we worship her. Um, as 
if you go on in the story, there is a, a, a section uh, here where uh, the wise men and so forth, they come into the house and they see the child and they worship the child. Um, as J. Vernon McGee, I heard him say many, many times, a good uh, old Bible teacher, long gone now uh, with the Lord. And, uh, but he was a good man. I didn't agree with everything that he believed and taught, but he was a good man. I learned a lot from him. And uh, one of the things that he really brought out and I thought was very wise was that if ever there was a time where wise men and shepherds and people uh, looking to the Messiah were going to worship Mary would be right here uh, in uh, the time uh, frame when he was born and they put him in the manger and uh, they came into the house and they, but the Bible says they only worshiped the child. They only worship Jesus, not Mary. And I'm not bashing Mary today. I'm not bashing that, you know, whatever your personal beliefs is, but just be careful because there's only one in creation that it should accept worship. Not saints, not Mary, but Jesus Christ himself. And I don't mean to be offensive to you um, if you're of Catholic uh, uh, religion of sorts. Um, I don't want to be that, to uh, be defensive, but God made it very clear in the Ten Commandments that thou shalt have no other gods before me, and only a God can accept worship. And uh, so, but anyway, I want to get off on that tangent. You'll forgive me if I went too far into that. Um, really, my, my point today is to give honor to whom honor is due. And Mary was a good woman. Uh, God chose her to be blessed, uh, most blessed, among women, and uh, she was to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, believe it or not, if you think about that, it was a gift of the Holy Spirit of the child in her womb, and that was Christ the Messiah. So anyway, um, very possibly, uh, as we uh, move along in our bodybuilding uh, today, it's probably going to be a long session. Uh, we're going to be giant setting um, several different uh, exercises, and uh, we might come back then um, to... Uh, Matthew and pick up just a little bit more uh, of the Christmas story and uh, it is a pretty wonderful uh, story. Uh, it is, the, let's face it, there was no other time in history, no other time in our year, there's no other season that is quite so blessed as the time that Jesus was born and now as we celebrate it in this season, as we call it the holiday season, the Christmas season, people call it the winter season, the winter holidays, whatever you call it, it is a very special time of the year. And so with that, we're going to get to our uh, giant set here. It's an upper body uh, workout today. Um, and uh, everybody likes to do upper body workout. Um, the workouts where it's hard to get people really involved is the lower body workouts, you know, with the squats, with the calves, uh, and that kind of thing. Uh, people have a tendency to neglect their lower body uh, bodybuilding and maybe just do cardiovascular or uh, uh, the treadmills, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, but do, do a little bit of lower uh, body work, you know, just don't, don't neglect it totally. Um, if you don't like squats, uh, do hack squats. If you don't like head squats, do, uh, do the sled. If you got a sled, if you go to a gym and they have a sled, uh, get on the sled for a little bit. Um, if you're not uh, confident with doing squats, um, use a Smith machine. You know, it's got the little safety pegs. Uh, very nice. You can put a little bit light weight on it. Uh, the safety factor is probably the best. It's better than a, what I have over here is a power cage. And uh, I like the safety factor with a power cage. Sometimes I use a regular squat. Uh, racks. Um, if I'm doing a, a combo set and I'm utilizing my power cage for something else, I'll load up my uh, squat racks over here. But the safety factor with the power cage is uh, really nice. But with a Smith machine, uh, it's even better. Uh, it's just, uh, it's a fantastic machine. Uh, maybe one day I'll have one in the Bears gym, I don't know. But uh, right now I don't. So anyway, um, we're going to get over to uh, bodybuilding here, so I'm going to swing uh, the camera uh, just a little bit so that you can pick up what's happening. And uh, um, 
Keep in mind we should have had our warm-up sets in. Uh, I try to get anywhere from three to uh, six uh, warm-up uh, uh, sets in before I get into the, the base of the uh, workout. And today I'm going to pick up with uh, my sixth warm-up set. And so you can kind of see what I'm doing with my warm-up set. I, had a, I have a very light warm-up set um, traditionally in my upper body workout that I'll generally do uh, every day. Uh, and that is uh, obviously upper body workout with some uh, 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 dumbbell curls. Uh, we'll get some uh, triceps in there of some, some kind. Uh, we'll get some uh, shoulder, um, shoulder uh, raises, uh, some butterflies of some sort perhaps. Some kind of shoulder movement we'll get in there. Uh, we'll do uh, maybe some uh, stretches across the bench. Okay. All right. We'll do some flies uh, with the laying down in the laying down position to kind of stretch the bench out uh, a little bit. Uh, we'll do uh, then probably some lat pulls of some sort. Uh, so just kind of shake it up a little bit and keep your reps in the warm up uh, around 12. Uh, you can take it to 21 if you want. 21 is a good uh, good pumping. Uh, uh, repetition number. Um, so with that we're going to get into the actual workout part here and uh, so I'm going to shift the camera down so that uh, I can get you to see what we're doing uh, in a way that you can uh, see the whole pan about uh, of what we're doing here. Um, so with that, here we go. So we're going to move the old camera here. Hang on tight. I'm going to move you just a little bit. And, but don't be worried. You won't get hurt. All right, here we go. Now, now we're going to shift her just a little bit. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to pick up here. Get down to the level where I can see you here. And uh, I kind of got the camera so that you can see what I'm doing. Not too much see my face, all right? You don't need to see that. And uh, there's nothing special going on here. But we're going to start out with some uh, dumbbell curls. Then we're going to do triceps. Then we're going to do some uh, shoulder raises. Okay, some, some people call them sometimes arm extensions. We're going to do that with uh, dumbbells. Okay, and we're going to do um, a little bit of bench, all right, with the uh, 20s. You can see how that goes. And then we're going to do uh, some uh, lat pulls. And I'm going to do them over here um, by the bench so that you can uh, witness that. So here we go. We're going to get into the uh, dumbbell curls. Here we go. And we're going to try and get the reps around 12. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey Dad, the fire alarm is going off and we don't know why. Well, probably because the smoke is in the house. No, there's no smoke. Well, I'm sure there is smoke that's gotten upstairs, honey. So, open the door upstairs. All right, a little Christmas Eve activity there. A little baking and that and so forth. There we go. All right. Fire Alarm Christmas. That's almost a, a comedy movie for the holidays. All right. All right. Three, four. Kind of lost my count on the left arm there. But the McAllen household is uh, busy around the holidays, sometimes during the week, so hope you don't mind a little family, uh, family activity in the old video. So I'm sure you won't mind. I'm sure your house is very much like that. All right, now we're going to shift back over to the uh, left arm. There we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, now, I don't know if you can see me, but uh, I'm going to take these babies uh, up over my head. And I'm going to do some uh, tricep extensions with the dumbbells here. All right, we'll take them over the head. Here we go. Up for 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. All right. All right, so we got the triceps in. We got some dumbbells in. Now we're gonna do some uh, shoulder raises. We're gonna uh, do this kind of like a reverse butterfly kind of thing from the seated position uh, to work our shoulders. And I hope you can catch some of this activity here. So here we go. We're gonna try and do 12. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, it's looking good. Now we're going to swing back um, to the old uh, bench uh, position here. And we're gonna do the old stretch out on the bench, uh, like the butterflies in a uh, laying position. Kind of get a good, nice stretch on the old pec muscles. So here we go. All right. So again, we're gonna shoot for 12. shift over to uh, some dumbbells and the lat pull area of our uh, gym movement here and uh, working the back latissimus dorsi. So hopefully we can get you in on some of that. All right, we're gonna do single arms. Come over here for the right side. Alright. Okay, that's not bad for the uh, end of the a warm-up set. Now we're gonna come back upstairs here. All right, welcome back to the upstairs. Okay, well that's kind of the uh, first segment of our Christmas Eve bodybuilding um, as far as warm-ups. Now we're gonna go into the uh, workout part of our Christmas Eve uh, special here. And uh, like I say, that was the sixth warm-up group um, that's kind of part of my daily routine. I feel pretty good. I'm pumped pretty good. It's cold here in Wisconsin. 
And uh, even though it is, um, my body is pretty warm underneath this clothing. So, matter of fact, I got a little sweat going. So, that's pretty good. Now, I'm going to shift you over here to the old leg lift area. And uh, I don't have you uh, get involved with the uh, leg part of the workout very often because you know what, there's really not a whole lot to see, to be honest with you. Uh, a leg lift is a leg lift, sit up is a sit up. Um, and if you haven't seen somebody uh, do leg lifts and sit ups, uh, you send me a message or a text and I'll, uh, I'll do some sit ups for you and, lay, and a, a leg lift workout for your abdomen. But you know, there's, you know, there's hundreds of them out there that you can see. But if, if you want to see Bear Paw 7 uh, with some ab workout, specifically for ab workout, you send me a message and we'll see if we can squeeze one in there. But anyway, I'm going to kind of scoot you over here to the uh, leg lift bar. I think you can catch me over there. All right, you can see it over there. So we're going to get over there. We're going to do traditionally, I like to get a set of uh, 12 to 15 reps on the uh, leg lift uh, area job over here in between my group sets like I'll do a group of three you know whatever I'm doing I'll do a group of three and then I'll come over and I'll do uh, a little bit of ab work so here we go this won't take long I'm gonna get a set of 12 in there one two three four five six seven Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, that'll do it for now. Come over here and uh, check out our time. Our time's looking good. All right, there we go. I'm gonna scoot you back over here. All right, hopefully that was exciting for you, but. Uh, Get a little abs in your uh, workout, be it sit-ups, leg lifts, uh, leg, leg extension, uh, torso twists. You know, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, find something that uh, you like to do that works your abs, that fits your uh, workout regimen. There's a lot of ab machines out there at the, in the gyms and the fitness centers and so forth. Find one you like, get on it, and uh, have a ball. All right, now with that, we're going to take just a little break from bodybuilding. And we're going to get back to our little Christmas story here. And we're picking up in chapter 2 of uh, Matthew. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem, of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when ye have found him, bring me word again, that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. 
And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. Now, um, when's the last time a star specially came down into our atmosphere in a way that it could focus its beam upon a single little animal shed or animal cave, whatever it might be, to proclaim the birth of the Messiah. Only once in history. Um, there is a few documentations of uh, theories of what might have caused that. Uh, it's kind of irrelevant. Point being is it happened. And uh, it's a historical uh, place and time, uh, very special. And uh, all of creation, the universe, and the world to take notice that the most important baby is being born in Bethlehem. So, there we go. There's our little second little uh, Christmas story uh, quip uh, from Matthew chapter 2. And uh, now we're going to move back into our workout program. And uh, I think I'm going to keep you guys up high this time around. Let you kind of take it in. All right, here we go. Now, we're gonna break into our, our dumbbell curls. We're gonna do some uh, shoulders, some lats. We're gonna add the straight bar into this. We're gonna do some uh, curls, tricep extensions and some wide grip uh, bench. And uh, we are doing a giant set today, a real giant set. So, uh, here we go. We're gonna start out with a uh, modest set of uh, dumbbells over here. probably noticed I really like the uh, dumbbell uh, agenda in a workout. I really like it. I do a lot of just about everything with dumbbells. Dumbbells are great. Uh, they take away the need uh, for a spotter and, uh, and I kind of like that. Um, right now I'm in the Bears gym and uh, no spotters around here so I really like the uh, dumbbell environment or the power cage. Power cage is, is uh, like a spotter. So here we go. Uh, all right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, all right, now back to the old right arm, one of these days I'm going to get a uh, holiday squat workout, possibly uh, right around New Year's maybe, or uh, Valentine's Day. We'll get a little holiday special lower body uh, workout. And uh, we'll see how you guys enjoy that. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, 
10, 11, 12, all right? Okay, now we're gonna switch over to a little bench here. here. One of the nice things about these little uh, plates is uh, got nice little handles on there for us and I'm going to try and get you in to kind of see the frontal action here. So here we go. Hopefully you can see these little jobs. Do a little shoulder action here. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Straight bar curls in. Once we got the straight bar curls in, then we're gonna shift the uh, arm position just a little bit. Some close grip of triceps. Then we're gonna go out wide and do some uh, wide out bench pressing. As you can see, very little weight. Mostly you're getting just a really good stretch. And with a big giant set like this, you know, you're really not gonna get some serious uh, power action in. It's just, uh, uh, it's kind of draining, but it's good overall pump. So here we go. You get a moderate width on the bar here. All right. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. That's pretty good. I'm gonna get an old water bottle here, if you don't mind. Take a little look at the old aqua today. There you go. All right. Now we're gonna get some uh, close grip uh, extensions in. I got my. 50 just a hair. There you go. All right, here we go. All right. Pretty much 
going to put the old, if you can see the hands here, pretty much put them together. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Now, as we got the pump on the old triceps, we're going to shift our, our hands, here they are, over here, we're going to shift them way out, all right, and we're going to do some wide grip bench pressing here, so here we go. Swing you around. All right. I'm going to move over here to my favorite dumbbell lat area. I think I've talked about this before. Well, I really like this little setup here because. You can put the, the little pad I have on my little workout bench here, right across my forehead, and it kind of isolates the lats, and then it kind of forces you to utilize your neck muscles. It's kind of a, you know, double kill situation, so it's kind of nice. So here we go, the lats. Here we go. One round of a good giant set. You could probably add some more different exercises in there, but then uh, you'd have to rest about 10 minutes before you caught your breath. So <laughs> that's a pretty good giant set. Got your shoulders, working your lats a little bit, working your neck, working your chest here, working your chest out here, a little triceps. You got, uh, you got a pretty good workout there. That's a pretty good giant set, I think. And you can alternate the different uh, exercises that I chose um, for this giant set. And, uh, you can use all straight bar if you want it. Um, so the choice is yours. Anyway, that's a good uh, start into a giant set. I'm going to check on our time here. See where we're at in the Bears gym. All right. I think we're pushing our limit right here. This is uh, one of the longer. Uh, Bear Paw 7 bodybuilding uh, adventures, I think. Uh, I think we're in the 45 minutes to an hour. I lost track a little bit what time we started, but I think we're in the 45 minutes to an hour. And uh, it's actually been a pretty good workout. And we're probably going to get one more round in here. So I hope that's, uh, hope that's exciting to you. I gotta catch my breath and drink a little water here. Uh, 
for those of you that uh, witness this or watch this in other countries other than the United States, if you have a Christmas tradition um, you'd like to uh, message me about, that would be really nice. A uh, little input would be, uh, would be great. Um, send me a message or a comment uh, to the Bear Paw 7100 on YouTube and uh, it would be much appreciated and uh, if you have any uh, special requests I'll try and fit them in um, as we go along. Uh, Bodybuilding requests or uh, Bible uh, study requests. Currently uh, it, what's in going on parallel to uh, these workouts is uh, the book of Matthew. Uh, trying to uh, conquer the book of Matthew uh, in whole, uh, which is uh, uh, several videos, between 30 and 40 videos um, to get uh, the book of Matthew in there. And uh, it's been uh, quite a wonderful experience um, to get uh, the whole book of Matthew f for myself on YouTube in its complete form. Uh, every verse, uh, every chapter, and uh, hopefully dealing with uh, most of the issues that uh, the scriptures bring out um, for us to study. So with that, we're going to get back into our workout here. <sighs> Prost. Nothing like a little water for the old workout. All right, now we're gonna uh, up the weights a little bit on uh, the dumbbells. And then we're gonna come over, instead of the straight bar, we're gonna use the easy curl bar for our exercises. Not because it's better, just because I have it already set up, so. That way I don't have to spend the time uh, shifting the weights around. So we got that over here. I'm going to swing that around and we're going to add that into our workout instead of our um, straight bar. So here we go. Start out with our dumbbells here. In the bicep movement. Probably gonna drop the reps just a little bit. All right. Here we go. All right. In the name of the Father and the Son and His Holy Spirit. Here we go. Take a little breather here. All right, now some bench. Here we go. Dumbbell curls 
in there. And we got a little bench in there. Now we gotta get some shoulders. my breath here folks Whew. all right all right hopefully you can catch this here I'm back up just to here use some big bad boys all right looks like it'll clear all right here we go seat and chew the flab with you for just a minute. Uh, all right. Whew. If you do decide on your own to go and read the whole Christmas story in Matthew, which is like the first three and a half chapters, when you first start Matthew, you'll see there's a, a ton of names. Those are the genealogies of the Messiah. In the genealogy by which God chose to insert him by various promises he made to uh, all the way back to Adam and Eve in the garden where the Lord speaks to Eve and says, your seed shall have a bruised heel of the serpent, meaning he was going to stomp the head of Satan. And that is the truth. Satan no longer has power over death and hell. The Messiah does. And he recaptured that when he paid the price of the most precious blood, something that God had put in the universal law onto this creation. And Christ paid that due once for all. There will be no more animal sacrifices that will redeem or cover man's sin. Anything that is done in the future will only be of a picturesque sense pointing back to the work that Jesus Christ the Messiah did. And so you can't get there any other way, folks, except by being honest with Jesus Christ. A simple, Lord Jesus, forgive me, as I'm no good is all it takes, folks. A little bit of honesty is all he's asking. Because all of us have sinned. Okay? But not all of us are being honest. And that's what God wants us to do. Be honest. 
come before Christ, repent of those sins, simple, saying, hey, I'm responsible, Lord. Don't blame anybody else. Blame only yourself. Ask forgiveness. Pick up your cross. Proverbially just means pick up with your new faith in Christ and continue on this earth as long as you are here to the very best of your abilities. And that's all any of us can do because none of us are really uh, very special. Uh, we are special in God's eyes because he chooses to make us like that, okay, in his eyes because of his love. But in its essence, what I have, I was given by God. What you have, you were given by God. Um, from the greatest athlete or ruler in the world to the smallest street person who has nothing, whatever gifts he has in his life, God has given to him. Anyway, with that, let's finish up our workout here before our time runs out. Let's see if we're still blinking here. Are we still blinking? Uh, we're not blinking. Yep, we're still blinking. Wonderful. Okay. Just want to make sure we're still blinking. When we're blinking, we're still recording, and that's good. All right, here we go. Okay, we're still good there. Okay, looking good. Now I'm gonna try and finish up this workout for you. So here we go. Triceps. bid you all Merry Christmas, God bless, from Bear Paul 7 and my entire family. Have a wonderful Christmas and a wonderful year. Talk to you later, folks.